Okay, guys, I'm going to take you through a very step by step guide to explain exactly how you're going to get the sheet to start working for you. And I'm going to explain everything. So there's no figuring it out. Okay, so your first thing you're going to do is open up the link that was emailed to you. And you're going to be taken to a Google sheet, which looks exactly like this. You can't edit this one because it's mine. So you're going to have to download it and save it into your drive. And then that way, I won't have access to it. And no one else will have access to it other than the people that you allow, okay? Um, it won't work exactly just because I already have this in my folder, um, but you'll press make a copy, click the folder where you wanna put it in. Maybe it's this one already. Um, then you're gonna change the name to something that you want to have it. So I don't know if your company's IBM uh, tracker, and this is going to be the name that your staff are going to start calling it. So just have a quick think, then press okay. Okay, again, I, I can't do this myself, so you're going to go into your drive where you saved it and you're going to open it up again by clicking on it and then it will open up and it should say, you know, IBM tracker here now. Okay. Now you can read this little guide if you want, but hopefully you're just listening to me. Go to the OKR KPI. Everything that's in the yellow boxes you want to delete. I've just put some template stuff in here so that you understand what's going on. So delete all those, do the same thing for the KPIs, delete all these. Next, go to the PPP, scroll down a little bit, it's just a couple of boxes, delete these, delete these, delete these, delete these, and you just hopefully see how this is actually working. Then go into the setting sheet. Now, you're going to want to delete these, then delete the staff names and replace them with no staff. Then just delete all these red boxes, and then select your week, okay? So it tells you that the current week is 25. So if you want it to be starting next week, so say 26, you click 26 here, and then in all these sheets, it'll start in week 26, all right? Now, the next thing you have to do is you're gonna type in the managers who are going to receive emails from your staff, okay? And then you want to put in their emails here, and then add in your staff just by typing in the name, and then mapping out under Jim, Jim is going to say, get it from Sarah, Yvonne, and Jim. Or not Jim, because it's the same, whatever. <laughs> Simon Lappy. Yash is getting it from Sarah and Jim and Mary and Lappy, et cetera, et cetera. So map it out. And now there's one more thing we're going to have to do. And you have to make sure you have an email address typed in or it's not going to work. So you just can put in whatever, Alexander at 50folds.com or whatever your email address is, but make sure you have one email here or the thing is not going to work, okay? Now this is going to look a little bit scary, but just do exactly what I tell you to do and it'll be simple and it'll work, okay? Go to tools, script editor, and then up will pop this script thing. Now only one thing you need to do, you don't need to touch any of this code, it just works. But again, make sure you have an email in and then you're going to click on triggers. You're going to set one up and you can actually change this if you want, by the way. So the first thing you're going to do is set a week timer so that you get sent an email every week. And then what day do you want it done? So if you're getting everyone to make sure they have their PPPs done by Friday, you click every Friday or could be Saturday. And then the time you want to receive it. So end of business, six to seven, seven to eight, eight to nine, we'll say six to seven. Okay. So week timer, every Friday at six to seven, you're gonna receive an email and click save. And it'll work. Now this will not work what we just did if you don't have an email saved in the sheet. This took me a while to figure that out. And then you need to give permission for this. So you're gonna press play. And then it's gonna request authorization. So you're gonna press review permissions. You know, ask maybe what account you want to have it on. So we'll pick my account here. And it's going to say that they need to have permission. Now, sometimes, especially if it's not from my computer, it'll say, we're not sure this should authorize this and you want to say yes. Or there may be a little button down here and saying, yes, please proceed. Okay, so just follow through and keep doing it until you figure out which buttons to press. But it's typically here. And then you want to give permission to allow it to run. Let's click allow. And then it's done. Now, if you want to test that the whole thing works, right, just make sure that you have your email in the sheet and then press run. And it will send you 
a test email, okay? And then you'll see that in your inbox and you know it's working. Now, if it doesn't work, run through all this again and just make sure you follow the exact steps that I told you to do. And if you're really stuck, feel free to send me an email. Just make sure you've actually done what I told you to do first. And that's it. The whole thing will now just work, okay? Um, so just follow those steps. The next thing you want to do is communicate with your managers, communicate with your staff, and tell them that you're going to be running this process. Now, you can uh, delete this guide if you like, so it doesn't have all my stuff on it. Or maybe you can use this as a guide for your staff and just tell them exactly what they need to do. But otherwise, that's it. That's, that's the quick guide to filling out this sheet.